Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing another Star Wars Black Series review on the Star Wars The Black Series, The Last Jedi Kylo Ren. I really do like this figure, looking at it straight in the box. As you can see, we get a nice picture of Kylo Ren, Adam Driver on the side there. It says Kylo Ren, it's number 45 in the set. There's a nice read up on Kylo Ren, so if you can pause that and read it, do it now. If you can't, I'm sorry. Another picture of Adam Driver, Kylo Ren on the side, nothing on the top. Not much on the bottom. So let's waste no time and let's get this Kylo Ren figure out of the box. So here's a Kylo Ren figure out of the packaging. I think it's great. I think it's such an improvement on the Kylo Ren figures we've had previously. I really do like it. I do have the Force Awakens Kylo Ren with helmet and I do have him unmasked as well. But I much prefer this version. This face sculpt is absolutely amazing and it looks so much like Adam Driver. Before I get into that, let's take a look at the accessories that Kylo Ren comes with. The first accessory Kylo Ren comes with is this lightsaber handle. You can clip it to his um, belt there at the back. It's just a nice little feature if you want him posed um, with the lightsaber not um, ignited. So um, that's quite nice. There's not much detail on it to be honest. It's a nice flat grey throughout apart from a nice red line running through it and a red dot at the end. So not really much with that. The next accessory is his lightsaber when it's ignited which I much prefer. You, it does come with a port. You can port to him but I don't know why you would want to um, why you'd want to port an ignited lightsaber to Kylo Ren but you, you can it does stay in there, just didn't push it hard enough. But there he is with the non-ported one on his back. There, that looks quite good. I do like that. But as for this lightsaber, I really do like it. Compared to the last um, lightsaber we got, this one's a much more sort of thicker, darker red, which I really do like. I like I like the texture throughout, like the the, um, the laser swords doing the waves for it, like the lightsaber's waves. I really do like that, and I think it's a nice piece. It's quite long, and I think it is uh, the good lightsaber design. I really do like the bits that come out the side there. One of my favourite lightsabers from Star Wars. And also we get this cape, which I really do like. I really like the sculpting on this cape as well. They've put some really good effort into it, like the texturing on it. It really does feel like... It is a leather cape. I really do like that. It feels like they put a lot of sculpting into it and a lot of like and they've sculpted some lines and all that in it to make it look realistic, give it that fabricy look and feel. I really like it and it really sits on the figure well. I really you can just push it over his shoulders like that and it's on and just as easy to take off. So that's really nice. I really do like that. And I really like I'm really glad they've included that with this figure. Now taking a look at the figure without the cape on, it is quite good. I really do like he is really nice. I really like that. I really like the fact that in this Kylo Ren figure in this um, Last Jedi film that they've taken away that long gown he had because if you can remember in the previous film and in the previous action figures he had a long gown going down to his ankles which really restricted articulation on the figure but this one seems to be a smoother sort of soft cut plastic just around his waist area which doesn't really hinder articulation of the legs at all. Looking closely at that face cut but that is a brilliant face I mean that is fantastic it looks so much like Adam Driver I've got a quite slight gripe on mine where they've got three black dots I'm pointing with the saber just up there above the lightsaber I've got three black dots just above his hair just below his hairline which is okay I mean I can probably remove those with exacto knife if I wanted his scars across the face there and even though we all know it's been moved closer I don't know if that's where it was or where it should be but I really do like the head sculpt Hasbro's really nailed it and I really like like it compared to the last one. If you saw the last one, it was horrendous. I don't actually have that figure out to hand to show you, but it's not not the best. But the hair's looking really good as well, and I like all the texture here he's got on his um, clothing. From the back as well, his hair looks quite nice, and the texture throughout this is nice. They've got a good uh, got a good sculpt on the sleeves there as well, looking really nice. I like the blacks they've used throughout. It's a very dark figure, but he's a very dark character, so it's really nice. I really like what they've done with the boots as well and the legs. Just all looking great. It's really looking good. So as for articulation with this Kylo Ren figure, his head doesn't really look up very much. It's quite hindered by that hair there, but it does look down a fair way. His arms can lift up that much and they rotate right round. He has a single jointed elbow, which is a shame. Come on, Hasbro, what are you doing? Um, he doesn't have any wrist articulation, which is also quite annoying. It does, it's sort of not even a ball joint, it just rolls, but it doesn't, doesn't really do anything else. He has a he has a diaphragm joint there which bends forward that much and but it bends quite back quite far but not that far forward and he does um, you can pivot him on that he doesn't have he has a waist joint too which spins like that His legs kick out about that far he's got he has an there's an upper thigh swivel there which is quite stiff he has a double jointed knee which bends quite far back I do like that knee and he does have uh, ankles move up down and he has that ankle pivot 
So overall guys, I really do like this Black Series Kylo Ren figure. I think it's the best one we've had yet. And I really like the new face sculpt on this. And I really hope that Hasbro keep delivering these face sculpts. So we've got a good one with the new Ray, which I will review will come on that. So I'm really glad and pleased with what we've got with this. Definitely be displayed on my shelf for sure. I'm thinking about picking up another one to have in box because I really do like this figure. And um, I hope you guys like this figure also. Let me know if you pick this Kylo Ren up or let me know what you think of this figure. Drop that in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and um, share this video if you can. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell. And um, just let me know if you enjoyed this review, guys. And follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram in the links below. The links are in the description below. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.